Hi, my name is Zev Gershon. I'm a physician as well as an attorney, and I practice medical malpractice law, specifically concentrating on cerebral palsy cases. What I'd like to talk about today are radiographs, specifically ultrasounds, CAT scans, and MRIs, that can help time when an injury occurred, if it occurred, in labor and delivery. An ultrasound is a type of radiograph that is done through sonographic waves. They usually do it after birth in a child that starts to have seizures, and that helps to determine whether they're bleeding in the brain, or maybe have some edema, swollen, swelling of the brain, if you will, and other factors that can be causing the child to have seizures. That's the ultrasound, and it's best done right after birth. Another mode is a CAT scan as CAT scan uses different type of radiographic waves to look at the baby's brain and can also help time an injury. That's usually done within the first week or so of life but can continue thereafter to help again look at the different parts of the brain. Specifically you're looking to see if there or is not swelling of the brain because lack of oxygen at birth can give swelling of the brain and a CAT scan is a very good tool to look for edema swelling of the brain. Specifically edema will rise shortly after a hypoxic insult and within a day or two will become maximal so that by 48 hours you should see a lot of swelling of the brain. Sometimes it lasts as long as three or four days and then it starts to come down. Many times you can see the swelling of the brain within six or twelve hours after the insult. But again, it rises, peaks, and then comes down. And a CAT scan is a good tool for measuring that. The final tool they have for examining whether or not there's injury to the brain is called an MRI that uses magnetic type waves to determine whether or not there's been an injury. And it focuses on different parts of the brain and can see more accurately than a CAT scan different parts of the brain. Using these three tools, the ultrasound, the CAT scan, and the MRI, if a hypoxic ischemic injury, that is lack of oxygen, lack of blood flow injury occurred during labor and delivery, these three tools can help time that injury.